Hello everyone. Today we will configure secure HTTPS for localhost. This is my Linux desktop and I am going to first generate the certificates using OpenSSL commands. Then I will make those certificates secure. If you see my Apache configuration file, there are two virtual hosts. One is localhost and other is app.localhost and these certificates I am using now so if I open in the browser currently it gives me this potential security warning similarly if I open those in Chrome I am getting same warning so I will generate certificates using OpenSSL commands and then I will make these certificates warning free this is my OpenSSL configuration file so I am copying this file as my virtual host configuration. This directory is uh, root protected so I do not have permission to copy any file inside this directory that's why I am using sudo here. Now in this file I need to add the certain fields here first I am going to update this section v3 underscore ca so this is this section I am going to this already code is there this time checking if I need to add any new line I need to uncomment this line and this line then this section v3 underscore req and this last section it is not added in the configuration file my DNS first this is my first virtual host which is I am trying to create warning free I am going to add this at the last and this line I need to find it if there is I need to uncomment this line This is the line I am going to uncomment it. I am going to save this file. I am going to create certificate authority certificate that is CA certificate. this is asking passphrase for this is my private key ca private key file you can add any passphrase here now if you check this file is created now I'm going to give permission to this file then if you see this command here I am going to mention CN that is my common name so this is the certificate authority name which I am going to generate the certificate authority this is CN name you can see this in the certificates here I am going to use this private key just I have generated and my output will be my certificate file the CRT file and the config file I am going to use this config file I am going to use it is inside etc ssl so I need to give complete path of this file 
so complete path of the file is etc inside ssl this file has read permission so still without sudo i am able to read this file now this is asking the same password which just i have created for generating this private key file i am using same password now if you check this is my ca certificate authority file is generated so if i import this file in the browser the browser is able to identify the certificates which i am going to generate using this ca if you download any browser like firefox or chrome there are cert certain ca certificates cert uh, certificate authorities are there so they, these are default certificates so that's why browser can identify those certificates in any https ssl certificate but since this is our self signed certificate so we have generated it ca for our personal use so browser does not identify the certificate that's why we need to import the certificate in our browser I, i'm going to show you this shortly now i'm going to generate if you check this file if you want to read this file what's there in the file i'm also going to show you so this is going to read this file we which we have just generated so so inside you can see the cn name the common name is the certificate this is the certificate authority name which i provided and its expiry date is 10 years now i'm going to generate crt file and private key file which i'm going to use in my web server apache so first i'm going to generate this private key file if you check this private key file is generated now here cn i have given the common name of my virtual host and i am going to impu input this file this private key file which i just generated and output will be this csr certificate signing request file so this csr file is generated now if you see this final command it is going to take input of this csr file the certificate authority file and this private key file of certificate authority now output will be our certificate file crt file and the same this is the configuration file which we are using for this task i'm going to give full path of this configuration file and all files these are in the same directory so i do not need to give absolute path this is also in the tmp this file is also in the tmp and this file is also in the tmp so it is asking me the passphrase of that certificate authority file and if you check now my crt file is generated and my key file is generated this is private key file this is crt file these two files i am going to use in my web server that is apache and this certificate authority file this file i need to import in the browser so browser will be able to identify the certificate so if you see my apache configuration file these two files i have already used since these are apache's con uh, default configuration files so browser is not able to identify these files and browser is showing this warning so the files which i have just generated i'm going to copy this private key file and this certificate file in this folder with the same name so this is our certificate file i'm going to copy this file as a localhost crt in this folder so i do not need to update this configuration file that's it that's why i'm going to copy this file in this given path okay now i'm going to copy this 
key file this is private key file and its path is this now my apache is all set now i need to restart apache okay but it's still this warning will be here because browser is still not able to identify the certificate that's why i'm still getting this warning here so what i need to do i need to import this file in both the browsers so first i'm going to open in the chrome i'm going to open settings privacy and security then security many certificates and here under authority section i'm going to import this ca file so inside tmp this ca.pem file not this key file this private key file i do not need to import i need to import this ca.pem so i'm going to trust the certificate and okay so now this file is imported you can see in the same c cn common name which i have given for this ca file it is there now i need to check if i need to restart browser or not if it is still warning i need to restart it okay but i do not need to restart it but it is still giving warning for this localhost because i have generated certificate for app.localhost not for localhost that's why i am getting warning for other virtual host but if you want to uh, open this app.localhost i will not get any warning similarly in the firefox i am getting warning for app.localhost but if i go here settings and i will import the certificates under the authority section i need to import the certificate with the ca.pem file i need to import it and i need to trust this file and okay now if i reload this page i will not get any warning here you can see this connection secure but i am still getting this warning for this localhost because i have not generated certificate for this virtual host i have generated certificate for app dot localhost that's why i am not getting any warning for this virtual host to fix the warning for all the virtual host i am going to update this configuration file so at the last i am going to give the exact name of the virtual host and i am going to add another new virtual host app1 dot localhost now i'm going to generate certificate file i do not need to run any other commands just i need to generate certificate file i am going to give path of this configuration file which i have just updated and it is asking for certificate private key sir password now i'm going to copy this certificate file in my apache server certificate location now i'm going to restart the apache server now if i reload this existing virtual host as well as local host where i was getting the problem i am not getting any error similar way if i open this newly added virtual host app1.localhost also i am not getting any warning here also so same certificate can be used for multiple virtual hosts similar way in firefox i am not getting any warning for these virtual host or the new virtual host which i have just added you can see connection is secure in the chrome also i am getting connection secure so by this way you can generate your certificates and you can import the ca certificate in your browser and you will not get any warning i will add this tutorial link in the description you will get all the commands there so you can generate your own certificates i hope 
this tutorial will help you thank you for watching